Hey, I'm here at Vernon Family Farm. I'm going to do my next wild adventure episode about the pigs. And these are Mangalitsa pigs. They're domestic pigs, but they're a cross between domestic pigs from Hungary and European wild boars and Serbian breeds. And right now there's 11 of them here total. There's eight in this pen. They're small. There's a medium-sized white one right there. And there's two really big ones in that pen right there. And they really do kind of look like wild boars. I mean, they've got the fur of wild boars and in wild pigs, the snouts are long and in domestic pigs, the snouts are short. These guys, their snouts look like they're probably in between. Probably um, not too long and not too short. These pigs are really big. They can get to the size of a car, a small car. But the largest pig ever was a Poland China hog named Big Bill. He died of a, of a broken leg back in 1933, but it had nothing to do with his weight. He was nine feet long, stood five feet tall, and weighed two tons. And the smallest pig ever is a little Vietnamese pot belly pig named Millie. She's full grown but she only weighs 10 pounds. Compare that to the largest pot pellied pig ever, which weighed 300 pounds. And by the way, at two tons, Big Bill was the size of an American buffalo. We're all just standing here, and the bisons are just sitting here. They're not attacking us. They don't, they don't see us as a, as a threat or mean us any harm. largest species of wild pig in the world is the wild boar, which can weigh up to half a ton. The smallest is the pygmy hog, just three feet long, a foot tall, and only weighing 30 pounds. And the warthog has... The warthog has... The longest tusks of any pig in the world. Its tusks are three feet long. And what's interesting is, pigs actually go wilder quicker than any other domesticated animal. When domestic pigs escape from farms, they go wild in just weeks. Thousands of years to domesticate, but only weeks to revert. And reverting back from domestication to wild, that's called feral. And one type of feral pig are razorbacks. And razorbacks can sometimes be a cross between a domestic pig and a wild boar. And look how these pigs are wallowing in the mud. You see, pigs don't have sweat glands, so they can't sweat like we can. Now, when they're hot, they normally roll around in water. But when there's no water around, they'll settle for a mud puddle. You know, there was one huge pig that, that was kind of similar to these pigs and to Razorbacks. It was a pig named Hogzilla, shot on June 17, 2004 by Chris Griffin. <laughs> and he and his boss, Ken Holyoke, said that Hogzilla was 12 feet long, 4 feet tall, 3 feet wide, and therefore 9.42 feet in girth, because remember the girth of a circle is always 3.14 times the width, weighed 1 ton, and had tusks 3 feet long. But, unfortunately though, when they dug up his body, about 6 months after he was shot and killed, they found he was only 9 feet long and only weighed 800 pounds, so he wasn't as big as Chris and Ken said he was, but he was still a giant, and he was killed at about seven years old. That's young for a hog as big as he was. That means he was born in 1997, and he was a cross between a domestic hampshire and a wild boar. His mother was a hampshire. Your mother was a hamster. And his father was a wild boar. And your father smelt of elderberries. Pigs have actually been around for 60 million years. They first appeared 60 million years ago, just five million years after the last dinosaurs went extinct. And there was one family of prehistoric pigs called Intelodonts. Intelodonts were giant prehistoric carnivorous pigs with huge teeth and jaws. Jaws that could open 90 degrees and could bite harder than a hippo or a crocodile. 
and, and not only that, the largest Intilodont that ever lived was Dinohyus, also called Deodon, also known as the Terminator Pig, Terminator Hog. Dinohyus was 12 feet long, stood 7 feet tall, 4 feet wide, and therefore 12.56 feet in girth, and weighed 2 tons, the size of an American bison, and it lived here in North America about 30 million years ago. It was also the last intilodont ever because of its huge size. And what's interesting about pigs is that pigs can actually smell things seven miles away and 30 feet underground. And I've actually seen some wild pigs in Florida near the Kennedy Space Center. You know, just like in the cartoon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles with Rocksteady the Rhino and Bebop the Warthog, there are some warthogs in real life that are friends with rhinos in real life. Like for example, there's one baby warthog named Digby who's friends with a black rhino calf named Omni. They first met each other when they were both five months old and they were friends for two years. Then they had to be separated. And there's another female baby warthog named Pogs who's friends with another male black rhino calf named Tatenda. They're both each a year old and Tatenda already weighs about half a ton but of course when Tatenda grows up he'll weigh five tons so he'll be ten times bigger than, than he is right now and they they were also they also used to be friends with a hyena pup named Sutsi who, who was also a year old. Eventually Tatenda and Pogs were released in a wildlife park and they now live with a three-year-old female black rhino named Shanu. Thanks again for watching. See you next time on another episode of Ben's Wild Adventure.